there exists only experience. Not experienced by some someone special, because then it it gets a personal touch. In a personal touch, there is always a contrary, an opposite. This I want, and that I don't want. But there is only experience. Experience has no opinion. It has no somebody in it. It has no no opposite. Nothing. Just experiencing. And because it's without opposites, it is no thing, nothing. So there's only experiencing. Experiencing of what? By whom? Light, awareness, consciousness, love. It experiences what what is shown in the light it is um, the silence experiencing movements that's all it's not yours it's not your experience because then there starts the contrary the opposite not this, I don't want this, I want that. That's what brings us far from home, in the longing and in the wantings and in the misery. <laughs> Stay in the source, the beginning of the experience. It shows up, it pops up from the silence. That's what you are in the beginning, silence. And then awareness. And then experience. And then you dividing it. And follow, follow, next thing is misery. <laughs> You know it very well, but you must remember it. Remember the silence you are and let the rest just like waves on the ocean, clouds in the sky. Don't mention it, don't mind. Stay what you are, the silence, the observer, the awareness. That's the happiness. Going out in the objects first, seeing this and seeing that, wanting this, not wanting that, and then return to the source. That's, there is no opposite, that's what you are. Silence, happy, happy silence. The silence is the only true thing that you are. It's not a thing. Silence is the only reality that you are. All the rest is a lie. Everything that starts comes from the silence. Silence is the only existing reality. That's you. Simple.
if you start to talk, it comes out of this silence. Everything you do, you act, you say, you want, you wish, your moves, everything starts from the silence that you are. Stay in the silence. You'll know. You'll feel it. <laughs> silence carries all the rest that comes up and goes back again. It arises and it is gone. Where does it stay? Was it even there? Were you there? Just a little moment in a dream? The silence is eternal present. There is nothing that stays in silence. Nothing remains. It can be there for a short moment, apparently, and then, oops, gone. only reality that you are is your silence. Hmm. This is your bliss. This is your happiness. Be aware of yourself before you start moving, talking, doing, acting. Be silent. Silence is even there while you act and talk. Hear the silence. The silence is the voice of God, of love, of bliss, awareness, <laughs> be still, be silent, be yourself. Everybody is talking, thinking, doing things, reacting, but that's all the outer side of ourselves. We are not aware that there is more. Yes, we feel there is something more. That's why we search, we miss something, but we, as we don't know that there is more um, place or possibility, we only know one possibility and that's the life around us and there we try to find what we miss. And of course that doesn't work, <laughs> we will find out after long life searching, we come to the conclusion, no, I didn't reach what I wanted, uh, they're still missing, I had a lot of things in life a lot of problems that I solved and a lot of adventures that I lived through and a lot of uh, good feelings and uh, sad feelings and all the time there still is something missing. And then you start to wonder, something inside you starts to, to move and you 
you start slowly to understand what you are missing is inside yourself. Your peace, your uh, quiet uh, being, your, your softness, love. And all the life you spilled by getting material stuff outside in the world to get to you and to make you happy, but you found out it didn't work. So then you find out there is more, but it's inside. And inside it is to be found. And then a glow starts to be felt, a sort of, of happy feeling. And you find out that what you thought you were is not the reality, but the inner feeling is what you were looking for. This inner feeling is there before you start to talk, before you start to think, before you start to, to want something. That's a hard time to stop that thoughts and wantings and moving. It's not necessary to not to act, but not with the intention to get something out of it. The acting becomes spontaneous. Life itself shows what has to be done. So don't bother about it anymore. The silence is where you live in and what is living in you, inside, in yourself, is what you are looking for outside and then you come to the conclusion that this inner silence is the same as outer silence, outer space. Before something happens it is empty and before something happens here your mind is empty and then with an empty mind you feel the glow of your source, your, your beingness, before you start acting, doing, wanting. <laughs> and if you reach this silence, this source, everything that comes out of it is the equal silence that you had found inside. So although you go out and you talk and you think, and uh, when it's necessary to talk or not or you just it is the same source of silence inside you that you see now outside and you start to enjoy the little birds in the in the trees and the nature and you see all things more uh, from the source coming up and you see a smiling kid and and little puppy dancing and running and you enjoy your food much better it's life is coming becoming so easy even if you see the troubled people around you you understand that they are searching and they will find too they will find their peace their silence it is the way of of god or the way of love to go out and return so all people are looking for the happiness and they will find out that they have it all the time with them inside <laughs> so that's um, everybody will succeed not in this life in the next doesn't matter how many forms you will take uh, you had already amazingly much lives behind countless lives we have had and we now are to the point if you don't find what you want you surrender and then the inner glow starts to the wisdom starts to come and there's the silence what you always wanted the peace the love and it will now find itself in the out of things all the same 
forms of love, silence. That's what we are doing when we come on earth. But it is all only a dream. <laughs> it's not even reality. It's the dream. The dream of God. God dreams that he has to find himself because he thinks, he plays that he lost himself. The love dreams that it lost itself and it finds itself by going through all these amazing adventures. Well, that's the end of the story, but life goes on. It will never stop. It's eternal, eternal bliss. <laughs>